Hi, I'm Phil from Pipo Pizza. Today we're going to be making mulled wine. To start with, we're going to use brown sugar. Demerara or soft brown is ideal. Two good heaped tablespoons. Might seem like quite a lot, but with the red wine and the brandy, it'll just balance it all out perfectly. Get an orange, cut it into sections. We're just going to squeeze each section directly into the pan that we're going to cook the mulled wine into. Get as much juice out as you can, but it's not essential that you get every last bit. And it's a lot nicer than using carton juice. Cinnamon stick, if you haven't got a cinnamon stick, probably a teaspoon of powdered cinnamon. Pop that in the pan. Cloves. Probably quite a few, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think it's probably good. Star anise, really strong flavour, so we'll just put a couple of those in. Brandy, a good glug, maybe two tablespoons. So I'm just going to give it a good going over, all over, get all the ingredients mixed together. Bottle of red wine, anything's good. Bag and box red wine, anything you have, all the flavours from this will really help sweeten up and make a nice taste of the, the red wine. So we're just going to pop the whole bottle in, get that on the heat, don't let it boil is the key, so just to get it hot enough for it to start steaming, give it a good stir, make sure the sugar's dissolved, and then you've got your perfect mulled wine. Pop it into a glass and all done. 